Hi, my name is Debbie Vallandingham. I'm a social worker with Angela Hospice and manager of the bereavement department. This cute little girl, her name is Piper and she's our therapy dog. Well, welcome back to our video series, Closing the Distance, Moments of Connection During COVID-19. We're here today to talk about a type of journaling and how you can get started creating your own gratitude journal. You may have heard the phrase, throwing kindness around like confetti. There's no better time to put this into practice. We're living in a very uncertain and uncomfortable time that's filled with plenty of stress. So let's spend a few minutes, a few days a week to celebrate and to be grateful for the people, experiences, and things in our life. And a great tool for that is a gratitude journal. That gratitude journal is a place where you can record what you're grateful for. Simply put, it's a diary of positive things in your life. The practice of gratitude can help you lower your stress levels while giving you perspective on the things that are important to you. It can help you become more trusting social, and appreciate things in your life. Research has shown that it correlates with happiness and helps you build strong relationships. Gratitude can even strengthen us during times of adversity. And according to the studies, it can even impact your health. Gratitude correlates with lower blood pressure, fewer aches and pains, and improved immunity. Grateful people even have healthier hearts. So, how do we get started? Choose a book, anything you have around the house. You can even use a spiral bound notebook. You can decorate the cover. You can even create an electronic version of a gratitude journal. It's whatever's most comfortable for you and whatever makes you smile. Set aside time to work on your gratitude journal. Find about 15 minutes a day, three times a week to devote to the task. Write down five things that you're grateful for. Use your own words and capture what you're feeling. Strive to find new things to be grateful for each week. But if you can't find new things, capture your feelings. Here are six tips for working on your gratitude journal. Tip one, sometimes it's a challenge when you first start writing for the first time. So just relax, don't force it. You could even use a template. So here's a sample. What are three things I'm grateful for and why? Who is one person I can connect with and thank today? What are three moments today that I would like to remember? And if you're still stumped for ideas, here's a sample of a few entries that might help you get started. I took a walk around the yard and I was grateful to see flowers in bloom. I listened to the radio with my son and was happy to hear him singing along. I ordered DoorDash and had a Zoom dinner with my friends where we reminisced for hours. I saw a story on the news talking about families making masks for nurses. Tip two, be motivated, but don't overdo it. Put thought into the exercise, but don't let it become stressful. This is an opportunity for you to enjoy what you discover about yourself and more than anything, to adopt an attitude of gratitude. Tip three, focus on people more than things. What did someone do or say that made you think about them? Tip four, think about what life would be like without those kindnesses. Tip five, be specific and detailed. 
I'm grateful that a friend called when I was sad is more meaningful than I'm grateful for my friend. Finally, tip six, savor the surprises. That's where the discoveries are made. And as you work through your gratitude journal, we invite you to join one of our four online support groups. The logon information is available on the Angela Hospice website. Under grief support, go down to support groups. Follow us on Facebook and join our Facebook grief support group where you can share and connect with others. For individual support, you can schedule a private tele or video counseling session with a grief counselor. Please contact the bereavement department for an appointment. So until next time, this is Debbie and Piper. Take care and stay safe.